Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. Ooh, the camera is so shaky. I cannot hold a camera with one hand without some kind of weight on it. But anyway, um, today I'm going to be doing a garden tour. It's the end of May. Not quite done with getting everything set up for the season, um, but you'll see that some plants have started to grow and I'll take you around to the front of the house as well. Okay, so starting at the back patio door, um, so I had been trying to grow from seed basil, parsley, and cilantro in this garden bed that I typically keep for herbs. And the basil has not done well here. I think maybe I made a mistake with the uh, soil and having too much mulch. It might have maybe suffocated them. I don't know. Um, but, you know, that's okay. I can buy them as a starter plant. It's not too expensive. Parsley, I see a few little itty bitty sprouts coming through, but um, the cilantro actually has been coming through a bit better. The thyme is filling in nicely, and the chives have bloomed. I heard, I've heard that these are delicious to eat, so I'll be trying that in some sort of dish. The oregano is very prolific. I've had to cut it back a couple times now. And the sage is also something that grows very, very quickly and easily. I have my strawberry plants here hanging. This is the Everbearing Ozark Beauty. And then this one is the Everbearing Quinault. Over here, I just have a random pot of edible marigolds I grew from seed from MI Gardener and some parsley. And then over to the rest of the garden, I have more of the container set up which is great finally thinned out a lot of these radishes so they're starting to come up because i planted these a little bit early though i don't expect that these radishes are going to be very big like what will happen sometimes is you'll see a lot of red but when you pull it out it ends up looking kind of small so yeah see like that but you know i eat the whole thing i eat the greens as well and probably what I'll do is I'll add a bit more perlite to make the drainage a bit better so that the roots don't have to fight so hard to form the actual radish. So back over the containers here, the garlic, I think I only have one that's come up, but again, I'm going to leave it alone. I'll just keep watering it. I decided to replace some of the pots I bought last year with pots from Lowe's. These are food safe. Um, technically, yes, it is still plastic, so it's not a perfect thing. It is much better to be in the ground, um, but these are BPA-free. And in these pots here, I planted the bitter melon that I grew from seed, and I mulched it. I also put a bit of, um, I, I put some potting soil, some compost, and just a little bit of fertilizer. These four plants in a row here are tomatoes. This one is like a chocolate cherry tomato. And then these three are my favorite tomatoes to grow, which are the sun sugar tomatoes. These are the pea plants that I had in the last video. I have thinned them out since. And I might thin them out again, um, just because it will get crowded in here. I did end up eating the sprouts that I took out. They are so, so delicious and you could definitely do that. This lettuce is growing very nicely. I probably will take out a quarter of this today for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then here are three more bitter melon plants. And unfortunately, one of them <laughs> snapped either in the rain or something with, maybe I, I watered it too aggressively, I don't know. And then I have one lone bitter melon plant over there. All of these bitter melon plants are gonna grow into big vines and I'll be putting them at the base of this trellis and they can grow up, 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 and then hang uh, the bitter melon off of the top of the trellis there. My roses are coming back nicely. And then this is the third set of pea plants. Garlic that I planted last year is growing in nicely and I might add a few uh, radishes over here. We'll see. I decided to move the gnome garden over here 
and they sell uh, kits that you can buy and all sorts of things you can buy online but I decided it would be fun to add to it throughout the year so I probably will just keep this as is. I might paint that rock a little something maybe like a name of, for the gnome garden or whatever um, but my four-year-old has been able to treat this very well it hasn't thrown any of the uh, breakable stuff. Also these hostas they are so huge already I ended up actually cutting them down. I don't know if you could see at the base of the plant, but man, they grow back so quickly. So I should have separated them earlier in the season. So I may do that in the fall or wait till next year to do it. Here are some cone flowers that are coming up. Those are great for butterflies and as they dry out, the birds like to eat them. And then I have marigolds here at the step into the patio. Over here is some spinach, and I might end up planting any extra bitter melon plants in this pot. That way it can kind of grow up this fence area over here. These bushes are putting out this nice lilac scent. I might actually trim some and maybe give some to some guests who are coming for Memorial Day. And then here is a little decoration that I got from the Dollar Tree. Also along here I have rosemary that's growing back nicely. This is a lavender plant. And then all along the edge of the patio I have um, lilies in between the hostas and I'll probably be planting those other marigolds in between along the perimeter here. And so here are the seedlings that are left to plant. I ended up just buying some um, marigolds because I need the flowers now to put out the scent because I see the rabbits all the time. They like to hide under this tree and then come up onto the patio to see what they can eat. I have seen them eat pretty much everything. Um, I have seen them eat marigolds too, but I'd rather them nibble on that or be deterred by that. Some like it, some don't, than try to eat the other plants in the garden, which honestly would just be the flowers. Um, last year I had a fence around the container garden area which I'm hoping to kind of go without this year but if I find that the rabbits are actually jumping in then I, I don't know I don't know if they would do that but we'll see so I ended up thinning out the broccoli last night and I'm going to eat those sprouts in an omelet this morning these are some of the newer marigolds from my gardener that I will be planting and these are the peppers I I made I made the mistake of not applying heat to these so they were a bit slow growing growing at first and now they're really starting to grow but we're getting kind of later in the season at this point so I might end up keeping a few and then growing them indoors for next year because technically for some peppers you can overwinter them so we'll see what happens then these are the leftover bitter melon plants. Um, some of them are looking pretty sad, but I'm gonna hang on to them just in case something happens and I'll probably replace the one that got uh, damaged. And uh, this is some parsley. Actually, I had done this damage when I had taken out a parsley to put in that pot over there. This is cilantro. And these are the pepper plants that I had pruned according to the Praxis method. and. As you can see, I had pruned them here and they are growing some shoots. The stem is really starting to thicken up. And once these are much taller, I will be replacing the pea plants with these pepper plants. And all of my pepper plants are bell pepper plants. So um, I'm kind of hoping I'll just be able to produce and produce lots of them. I am leaving some pepper plants unpruned, which are these. And one more I'll show you on the side of the house. Um, they're a red bell pepper, and this one is a purple one. And these other ones, again, are pepper plants. These are the ones from the Dollar Tree, but um, I'll probably just keep one or two, like I said. Okay, so let's go to the back of the house. Over here, I see, oh, I just lost the name of this plant. I had it at the tip of my tongue, but as you can see, it's flowering nicely. And then I have this compost bin I bought from Big Lots, and we just put leaves in here, a little bit of grass, and water every now and then when it's starting to get dry. And this is that purple 
bell pepper plant I was telling you about. So I'm just trying them in different locations since I have so many. In these barrels, I'll probably put the broccoli and I might leave on one barrel untouched just because it's a lot of soil, guys. When you're buying like 12 different five gallon containers and um, two big barrels, you run out of soil. So, and it gets expensive, so I might wait till next year. This one is a green bean plant I was given for Mother's Day from my daughter. And ordinarily, I think I would clip these flowers off so it could put more energy into growing taller, but I think I'm just gonna leave it alone, let it do its thing, and you know, if there's five green beans, that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. This is a lavender plant I had cut all the way to the ground in the spring and look how fast it comes up. It's almost like it did it a lot of good. These are peonies I cut all the way down in the spring. I should have done it before um, the winter last year, but it survived nicely. It's growing back with a vengeance. I planted a few geraniums, marigolds, some impatiens. I applied some lime to these hydrangeas to hopefully get some pink hydrangeas. And over here at the front of the house, I planted similar pots again of geraniums, impatiens, and marigolds. There's four of these at the front of the house. And then I bought this plant stand at Aldi and I put these pots from the Dollar Tree on here. And in here are the edible marigolds from my gardener. And lastly, we have this tree. I don't know what kind it is. I don't think it's an actual lilac, but I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. So if you know what it is, please let me know below. And if you're doing any gardening this spring or summer, I would love to hear what you're growing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.